Now, supply shortages of children's medicine used to treat other illnesses are hitting families hard in Metro Detroit. Pharmacies and pediatricians say many drugs, especially the antibiotic amoxicillin, can be very difficult to find. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast is asking about alternatives and how long this supply crunch might last. For more than a month now, this has been the site many parents find at their local pharmacy. Shelves usually filled with children's medicine empty, a problem impacting the entire country, including Metro Detroit and members of our Channel 7 family like Leroy Zagata. I couldn't find children's Mucinex. I couldn't find children's Tylenol. Um, yeah, the, the shelves were just empty of the children's stuff. Right now, both Zagata's five-year-old daughter and three-year-old son are sick, and their pharmacy didn't have enough amoxicillin to fill his daughter's prescription. He eventually found some at another pharmacy. We were lucky that it was out there, but are definitely already kind of seeing the effects of stuff not being readily available. Once you get it in stock, how quick is it going out? Flies off the shelf, literally. Dr. Nate Bozzi is the owner of Farmington Drugs and says a shortage of liquid amoxicillin for children has been ongoing for weeks. He urges parents to be patient if their prescription can't be filled. I really just calling around, you know, seeing if it's available at the different pharmacies. Uh, I try my best to have it on hand. Now we're getting to a point where I've had to start prescribing amoxicillin, crossing my fingers that that's in stock. If it's not, then I have to find out, well, what do you have in stock? Dr. Sean Sullivan with Birmingham Pediatrics says with the shortage, they often have to prescribe other antibiotics that may have more side effects. And how long do you foresee this going on for? I, I don't know when it comes to that. I'm hoping it's, it's done by the end of this month. The FDA says the amoxicillin shortage is due to an increased demand for the drug, thanks to the amount of kids getting sick this winter. Have you ever experienced anything like this before? Never. Never. As pediatricians and pharmacists navigate the situation, parents are working together too, helping each other get through yet another shortage impacting their kids. It's not like they're completely out, but it's concerning, you know, if you're driving around with a sick kid trying to trying to find medicine, that's tough. And in the midst of these issues, some of the big pharmacies like CVS have actually put a two product limit on child pain medications, both in store and online. I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you so much, Brett.